did your interest in CrossFit fade after he passed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was just because, like, that's what brought us together. Um, so it was kind of hard for me to, like, get back into it. I didn't want people to see me, like, completely broken down and, like, giving up on life. Like, because there was those mindsets where I was just like, I, I don't really want to get out of bed anymore. And, like, what is the point in anything that I'm doing right now? I'm, like, I'm confused about life. There would be one mindset where I'm just like, just get in, just do it. Like, you love this. Like, you've always loved this. Continue going after it. And, like, even my parents could, like, hear it in my voice where I was just like, it's not fun anymore. It became more of like, just like check it off the list for the day. The people that I originally started going back for to like just please, like it actually like helped me continue going just because like I did like seeing them. Like it's like the United, the people on the United side who barely n knew me, but like still them coming up and saying hey to me or like asking me what next competition I'm doing or like asking how I'm doing. And like truly, generally like they, mean with what they're saying those people that like really help me like find my passion and like have helped me like want to keep coming back and like pushing myself even more I fell out of love with CrossFit for a little bit just because it was hard to get back in because that's what me and him did together but like I think throughout this past year it's like really been the thing that's like kept me going because it's had the people there that's kept me going he wanted people to feel important all the time and he helped people feel important all the time and like wanted everyone to have like a friend like a friendly face whenever he like showed up in the gym definitely in the relationship between me and Jordan I was not like the smiley happy one in the relationship I was more of like I have my friends and I'm gonna like smile at my friends and say hey to my friends not that I was like mean to everyone but that is definitely one thing that I like took away from him is like example a new person comes in in the morning and they come in on the think tank side because there's two doors on the front of the um, building so if they come in on the think tank side and not the united side they're usually standing there on the think tank side for a good minute looking very lost and so it's just like that's a moment that you can take to be like hey like let me like i know you're lost here and so but i know i used to like look around and be like someone gonna get that because i don't want to do that um like just be like a friendly smile and like be someone, like have like a warm welcome to anyone that comes in because you, you don't know like what their day has been like before this or what they're gonna go face right after this. The reason you do a named workout is to honor somebody and honor their life. Whether it's a hard workout for you or a heart or not, like it's just gonna come in, like do a, a fun partner Saturday, just like, Jordan always had a smile on his face and he loved working out and loved seeing other people push themselves to limits that they didn't know they could go.
brothers on a hotel bed, like brothers on a hotel bed. I remember literally two days after he passed, Kyle L looked at me and was like, you going to the gym on Monday? And I was like, bruh, what? <laughs> like, 